baby, show me Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna take you through a quick little upper body workout that um, AJ and I did the other day. So to start off, we started off with three to four sets of flat bench press. The big thing here is you wanna make sure that you are rooted into the bench. So if you notice my butt is staying in, in on the bench and my shoulders are staying on the bench. I'm not having to like push through uh, with my legs. And also I'm pushing through my feet so I'm really anchored into the ground. Another thing that a lot of people don't do when they do a bench press is they really don't focus on keeping their wrists straight. So the big thing is, is you wanna have a straight line running from the back of your hand all the way down to your elbows. So that way you're not bending your wrist back. Also, you wanna make sure you're using all the muscles that are required to do a bench press, your chest, your arms, and your back. Everything is incorporated in there. So make sure you're engaging those movements and keeping a 45 degree angle from your shoulder to your elbow to your body. So the next movement that we did, I believe it was three sets of 12 reps and it was an incline bench press. You set up almost exactly the same. Make sure you have nice and control. You're gonna feel your pecs a little bit more in this movement. And I do believe that women should do chest movements unless something prohibits them from doing that. If you'll also notice, I'm maintaining that 45 degree angle when I am doing that, if not a little bit bigger of an ankle. Big thing here is I'm also keeping my elbows and my hands in line and I'm also going within a range of motion that I can control. So I go just past where my shoulder joint is when I'm pushing through and I'm driving my feet into the ground. The next movement is a lateral raise. If you notice here, I'm actually leading with the back of the dumbbell and I'm in control of the movement. I would actually even do it a little bit slower like I do toward the end here. For me, I really struggle with this movement and feeling it in the correct body part. So I really feel this in my traps if I'm not careful. So I have to go really nice and slow and focus on feeling the movement. A lot of people can really just do this movement with the dumbbells flat. If you do not feel it in the right muscle groups, try changing a little bit how bent your arms are and maybe if you lead with the back of the dumbbells when you are performing this movement. Man, I just got out of breath there. Whew. Now the next movement is a lateral pull down. So if you notice here, I'm actually hitting the bar on my collarbone. You don't have to hit it, but I'm also not pulling the bar too far down where my arms have to come forward in order to pull it down. A lot of people try to pull the bar really, really far down in order to accomplish this movement. When in reality, just going as far down as you can with your arms straight from your elbow to your wrist is way more beneficial. And you'll also see it here. I'm remaining in control. I'm pulling that bar down to about my collarbone. And also you'll see here, See, I don't let my arms come forward that very much. And also I am making sure that I'm pulling down with my lats and using my arms and I'm driving my toes into the ground. I probably should put my heels into the ground a little bit more here. Big thing is you gotta maintain control. Find a grip where you can really fill your lats. I'm doing a wide grip for me here. AJ can actually put his hands out all the way out the bar. But depending on where you feel it most, start there and you can always change your grip up later. The next movement is a cable row. Big thing here is you need to keep your upper body stable and let your back do all the work, no rocking. So use your back to drive the elbows back and pinch your shoulder braids together. Try to keep your head stable. Don't let it jut forward when you do this. So if you see, I kind of let my shoulders roll forward a little bit. I wouldn't even let them do it that much if you can help it. Pull to your belly button and squeeze your shoulder blades together at the back so that way you get a really good contraction. Also, if you notice, I'm keeping my core tight and my upper body position is stable. Looks like somebody's knocking the camera. 
and have fun while you're there. I mean, the gym is supposed to be a happy place. Make smart choices and enjoy your time there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Comment below what you wanna see next and be sure to like and subscribe the video. Like the video, tell me that you liked it and subscribe if you'd like. Bye.